That's great, it starts with an earthquake. Birds and snakes and airplanes. Lenny Bruce is not afraid. Eye of a hurricane, listen to yourself. Turn world, seize its own needs. Don't reserve your own needs. Oh my gosh, I'm good at that. <laughs> hey, how's it going, YouTube friends? It's me, your one furry boy. Never back at you again. Yes, you clicked on that impeccable thumbnail and you're here because you're alive and well and doing okay. Hopefully, if you're not, hope this cheers you up. And yes, you are watching The Never Show, the only show with lemon-scented limes, lest I forget, and the only show with a supernatural, super awesome third eye. I mean, why ask why? This joke is never going to get any better, but if you did, laugh, then thank you. It's Wednesday again, my friends. I want to thank you all for being my YouTube friends once again. Every week I say this, every week I mean it. Thank you for being there for me. It is your comments, likes, and views, and all that stuff wrapped up together that helps me get through these hard times. Aww. And if you ever need help, let me know in the comments. Maybe I can do something for you. Help you at least find a movie to pass the time. And I also want to thank you for clicking that subscribe button and that little bell icon because it's part of the YouTube experience and adding me to your YouTube experience. Now, you clicked on that thumbnail and you're going, wait, this video doesn't come out. Somebody helped me out. I'm not able to say who. So let's get right into that movie review, shall we? And today's movie is Trolls World Tour. It is a PG movie. It is an hour and 30 minutes. It is an animated adventure comedy. Uh, it comes out Friday. So, yeah, if you want to see it now, you have to wait till Friday. I'm sorry, kids. It's from director Walt Dorn and David P. Smith. Uh, Walt Dorn is the voice of the cloud guy in the beginning of the movie that you see in all the trailers. There's a lot of writers here, so bear with me here. Uh, my Forbes Wa Wallace... Wodowski, Elizabeth Tippett, Jonathan Abel, and uh, Glenn Ber Beringer. If I pronounce any of these names right, let me know in the comments, because <laughs> pronunciation is pretty much a ba my bad on these things. These are the minds that brought you a dog's purpose, uh, Monster Trucks, which was kind of dumb, but I liked it, and Kung Fu Panda 3. <laughs> yeah, a lot of good work here. It stars the voice work of Anna Kendrick, Justin Timberlake, we love him, and Rachel Bloom. Ozzy Osbourne's also in this. Uh, I just wish there was more Ozzy because we all love Ozzy. So does mom. <laughs> Our production companies were DreamWorks Animation. Our distributor here in the good old United States of America. God bless America. Land that I love was Universal Pictures. There's no special effects. It's an animated movie. What do you want from me? <laughs> uh, I wish there was more because I really like this film. And now for my thoughts on the film. <sighs> I'm going to tell you it's good. I'm going to say that this is those se one of those seminal movies that comes out every once in a while. And I don't throw that term around very often. This may be the movie of the spring and the summer. The way things are going, though. Because, you know, the ick is in the world, and we're all trying to not get the ick. <laughs> uh, Andrew Kendrick and Justin Timberlake are really good together. The music is great. I love the track choices. I do wish there were more Aussie songs, because they do have Ozzy Osbourne in the film. And I was kind of hoping for that. But you don't always get what you want. 
Uh, Story-wise, it's very cut and dry for a PG film. They knew this was a PG film, but they really packed it full of message. And I don't want to spoil that message for you, so you're just going to have to wait till Friday. It's a good movie. You're going to want to watch this. The kids are going to be singing this all week. And yes, they do sing Who Lets the Dogs Out as well as Gundam Style. So yeah, those are going to be popular again. <laughs> uh, uh, I love the music in this. It's well cho There's a lot of well-chosen things, although the pacing and storytelling is a little sparse at times. And uh, it's an animated film. Sometimes storytelling isn't always easy. Plus, um, this is pretty much Walter Dorn and David P. Smith's first kick up into big time directing. Most of these guys have only done TV shows like SpongeBob and stuff. And I feel their inexperience did show, show its ugly head, so to speak. But I think people are going to be excited to see this. I really do. Even with its problems and its sparse storytelling, it's a really interesting video. It's beautiful. And the message is great. I feel like right now, this is the message that we as Americans need to share with the world. As well as we need to share with each other. I want to see what CinemaSense thinks. Just because I feel I've been dazed and dazzled by the decadence of a very, very good movie in a time of great... Well, ick. And I want to see what they think. As for you inside the box score people who just want to know what I think and how and what what you should do. Uh it's definitely a TV watch. I can't wait to see this come to TV. Uh since theaters don't exist anymore, I see this as a DVD buy because I do have the first one on DVD, and I think this is a definite decent follow-up, even though it does suffer from a little bit of sequelitis. And I think you should go see this. Wherever you view your VOD movies, download it now. <laughs> this may be your movie of the summer, people. I don't know what else to say. So with that said, if you like what you see in here, make sure you click that like button. Likes and views are how YouTube algorithm works now. So please like and share because don't you want more people to see me? <laughs> I do. And you know, you don't have to ask all comments are 100% guaranteed response. Tell me your realities, your whatever. Let's just be YouTube friends, shall we? Please. I love talking to you guys. Your comments are the highlight of my day. And you know, I have to ask, I have an Amazon, I have a Patreon, it is not without your support that keeps this channel afloat. You don't realize how little I have to do so much. Thank you for your donations so far, and thank you for supporting my American dream. And with all that said, for a final time, because I can't stop saying it because it's so ingrained in my brain, and I'm so sorry about it, but... If you want to see more of this nonsense, make sure you click that subscribe button and that little bell icon. Ding, 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 ding! Top of morning! And I will see you all in the next movie review. Bye! Yes! Uh, the
wow, that was good on me. It felt really good. My thoughts flowed. So let's close this up. 